Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tag a few people real quick. Just real quick. And we'll get started. I've got everything sitting here white and to go. So tell me everybody, how are you doing? I'm looking to see if I can find some music. But I'm not gonna do that. AKC. I'm gonna show you all what we're gonna do in just a second. A few people jump on. All right, here's our cup. Isn't it pretty? I love this color. Now guys, she doesn't have this glitter yet. This is a pretty lavender that I'm trying to convince her to get. So with your help, she may be able to uh, pop on. Hi, Miss Kimberly. I miss you too. Hey, Joseph. Hi, Miss Cindy. Hi, Becky. Oh my goodness. You guys are all popping on at one time. Anyway, so y'all need to help me get her to look at how pretty this is. What I am making is the Winnie the Pooh glass. Um, it's going to be his... Um, his honey pot, and I'm going to be donating it to the school that I work. We do, hey Rusty, we do, um, hi sweet Makila, um, we do pumpkins each year, and I like to be extra, and I like to add something to it. So this year I'm going to be adding the honey pot, and I'm gonna make my pumpkin into Winnie the Pooh. So hopefully we can make a little money off of that. Um, what I am gonna talk to you guys about <clears throat> a little bit is the, um, the conical warp. Ooh, it's getting great. Um, it is on the silhouette. Now, guys, I don't use Cricut, so I can talk to you about the silhouette, and hopefully you can get online and find out how to do this on your Cricut. The conical warp is going to help you bend your vinyl in such a way that when it wraps around your cup, it's going to lay flat. I don't know if you've ever had a time when you've laid a straight piece of a vinyl down and it has to fold in on itself in order to fit the cup. Well, I have this cut in such a way that it will actually lie around my cup perfectly. It's called a conical warp. And there is an area on the, um, the uh, silhouette program that you can do that on, but you have to find it. I'll have to do a video one day and show you how to find it. Miss Felicia's on. How you feeling, Felicia? Hey, Stephanie. Yay, Patty. All right, so we're going to talk about the conical warp. I don't know if you can tell that it's just bit, just slightly. Not much. What I had to do is I had to measure how far around it was on the spot that I wanted on the big spot and on the little spot. And then I had to tell it how wide I wanted it, and it did it all for me. Then we're going to add our honey, honey to it. H-U-N-N-Y, the way, Winnie the Pooh. And then I'm going to show you what I did for um, our drip. This has been sitting here now since 620. Now I have, this is regular, um, I gotta find my, I don't this is just regular epoxy. Um, Stephanie does it with UV and she's got a video that she'll be coming up with and putting it on, um, on YouTube very soon if she hasn't already done it, but it's basically the same concept, except if you have UV um, epoxy and a UV light, it stops it immediately. And so she can talk to you guys about that a little bit more, but I'm gonna be using regular epoxy. This literally has been sitting here. By the time I use it, it will have been sitting here for an hour. You don't want it to be too thin for it to run down. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down, let you see what I'm doing. All right, as I said, this is the uh, the small 16 ounce football. I love these. I don't know why, I like these better than I like um, the bigger footballs, but I like smaller things. My conical warp, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now. Around this is 12.25. And as you know, we can only cut 12 inch. Um, do you remember, do I do it this way? Okay, we only did, we can only go around 12 inches. So I am going to have to come back in later. I'm doing this towards me guys because I need to make sure that it's lying flat. And then I'll show you. Um, so I'll go back in later and I will add a small piece. 
And all I'm doing is putting the honey pot vinyl around and making sure that it is lying flat. As you know, we all love bubbles in our vinyl. And I'll show you in just a second when I'm done. So remember that it's a conical warp and you're gonna tell it how big your big side is and how big your little side is and it'll lie flat. I learned this, I'm a video watcher, guys. I watch videos all the time so I can find things to teach you. And then this lady popped up and said, oh my gosh, I found this. And I went, oh my gosh, I have that. And so I started using it myself and I kind of like it. All right, of course, getting this to go around an entire cup flat. And the difference is on the bottom there, it's not gonna buckle. Now, I may have to come back in later with a pen and pop the little air bubbles because you know how that happens. But this is the hardest part of this entire process right here. Sarsley. My dogs went in here, but I'm not gonna let y'all listen to them bark this whole time. Let's see where it's the bubbles are coming up. I probably should have done this before I got on with you guys, but I didn't, so I'm not gonna beat myself up. Let me see where it wrinkled. I'm gonna fix that because yeah, it's not gonna happen. And then we'll add our honey. Our honey is going to be thick when you do your epoxy. You are going to let it sit anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour, depending on what you have. Now, if you're using the Perfect 25, don't let it sit for an hour. You don't have that long to mess with it. Um, it will be hard as a rock by the time you get ready to drizzle your honey. So, as I said, this is the hardest part, is getting this vinyl to lay flat all the way around. Half wanted to do a peekaboo, but... I didn't. All right, almost done, almost done with one side. Almost done. And I'm gonna tell you, we have some things coming up. I have, I am moving rooms really soon to do my videos in so that it's not as hot out here for me. As I said, I'm gonna have to come in with my straight pen and pop some of these bubbles that are in here. All right, this isn't working. I'm gonna put this back on and stick. It does work if you have time and you have patience. And if y'all know me well enough, y'all know that I was not given the patience virtue. It sh I should. Because I have children and I teach preschoolers, but when it comes to stuff like this, not so much. Hey, Barb. Yes, Kim, I did eat. We just ate, I promise. My shaking is um, more uh, probably for the heat, but I have eaten. I had a big meal and then we had, I made lemon pound cake. So I promise. If I don't eat, guys, I shake. And Kimberly's always on me about that. They get on me at school, too. All right, do you see how it's finally lying down? It's finally lying down. And see how it's not going to fit perfectly? But I will go in here in a little bit, and I will straighten all of this out. Probably recut the vinyl, knowing me. And then I'll add the honey to it, just like this. All right, but that's not why you're here. You're not here to watch me put a piece of vinyl in a cup. You are here to find out how to get this to lie flat. I mean, to get the honey to go down the side. Now, what I did was at 620, sometimes you can stretch these out enough to go all the way around. At 620, I went on ahead and made uh, 
10, five of five, five of one, five of the other. Um, and I went on ahead and added in my mica powder. The mica powder that I'm using is going to be the same gold we used last week, the Pearl X Gold. And I added a little bit of, oh, it's starting to warm up, of the um, silver. I don't want to have to redo this vinyl, guys, because I have a feeling that some of my drip is going to drip onto the vinyl. And then I'll have a mess because, yeah, that's just me. So we're going to do the drips and then I'll add the vinyl because I'm not going to have this messed up. Look, trash. If you're anything like me, you hate throwing this away. But let me show you this. This is what I know. It's not always going to be perfect. Isn't that a pretty color, Felicia? I'm trying to talk her into getting it. Do you see how it's running down? And the way you know that this is going to work is that when you rub it up against the side of your cup, it starts to roll down, but it's not going so fast that it's going to take over the cup. All right, try that again. So that's what we're going to do with our cup is we're going to have this epoxy that's been sitting here since 620. Here's my cup. And we're going to take my take my just like this and look it's not falling off because it's been sitting here and it's thick and all you're going to do is you're going to come back just like this and it'll start running down your cup just like that that's the way you do it take a little bit more and see it's not running down so much that it's taken over the cup a little bit more all you're going to do is take your epoxy, your popsicle stick, and run it back, and it's starting to run down. This can be done with everything. This can be done with um, fast settle work as well. Um, yes, but you need to make sure you do it faster than an hour. This has been sitting for almost an hour because I don't want it to run too far. I want it to start slowing down, which it is. You see my honey drips. Um, anything, the... the um, Perfect 25, it's going to set up faster. This is regular old, it's literally gummy. Um, this is regular old um, CC DIY counterculture. It's what I've used for years. And just roll it back and it'll start running down on its own. Put a little bit more here. I get run down a little bit more, but because it's thicker, it's not going to run down the whole entire side of the glass. Do you see? There's the honey drip. That's what it is. Is you have to make sure that your epoxy is set it up. It's setting up on its own. It's sticky. You can help it along. It's sticky, it's, it almost, when you pull it out of the cup, it almost, it's almost stringy because it's, see how it's almost stringy. And then, see the honey drip? I will put my, um, my vinyl on. I may just put the, the word honey on here. I may not put all of it because my other intentions for this are to um, are to put their characters on the bottom. And it's actually probably a little more than it needs to be. This I did at 621. We probably could have done, um, yes, you can do this with white. You can do this with um, like the hot chocolate. You can do it all the way around. There's people that do the the uh, ice cream help it along so as i said this is probably a little more than it needs to be so you'll probably need to put this into your um on your cup this is 621 and we're at 7 710 i probably could have started this a little earlier but if you see how this is running down and this is starting to slow down. 
but you don't want it so fast that it runs down the side of your cup and it doesn't stop. Now, I don't want a whole lot of honey on my honey pot. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. But I want just enough for it to look like you've spilled it. However, when you do more on the ice cream cones or anything like that. And that's all it is, guys. It's just really thick epoxy that's been sitting in a popsicle stick and you just let it run down and now like oh it'll stop on its own now if you want it not to run down as far you're going to want to put like these right here aren't running as much because it's setting up faster but the thicker the uh epoxy is the more it won't run and you're going to want to let this sit and harden on the side of the cup before you take your next step i will probably not cure this be I mean uh seal this because it's it's epoxy so um but this is my honey pot I will put the word honey across the bottom I will post this and the conical warp now I probably won't do the conical warp for the football unless you really want it you can find it on your um, silhouette under conical warp if you type it in it'll show you but I will put the honey because that's his signature that's his handwriting and um, remember, I did use my Pearl FX. And um, anytime I want there to be a little bit of sparkle in my cup, I use the Ultra Fine Holographic. This is the same as um, other companies in the past were, were putting this out. Um, you just add a little bit, a teeny tiny bit, to your epoxy if you want just a little bit of shimmer. And um, this is, of course, with puzzle tumblers and you're gonna get just the right amount of shimmer. This is also used for the, um, the Tacket method. So, um, any questions? Talk to me, talk to me. Hey, Pam. It is actually still running just a little bit, but not much. Here's my, right there. And I'm gonna put my little characters around the bottom. I have one of Winnie the Pooh holding his honey pot up and it's completely different. Hey, Amber. It does, doesn't it? But you guys, it is, look at it. It's literally, I don't know if you've ever seen wax that they use with your eyes. Right now, that's about the consistent, look at it. It's about the consistency of that wax. And so when you put it on the side of your cup, depending on how thick it is, is how far it'll roll down. Now, Stephanie does it like this. And once it gets to the point where she wants it to stop, then she um, puts her uh, UV light on it and it freezes it. So if you use UV um, epoxy and you put your UV light to it, it's going to stop it right where it is. I did. I have um, the side over here for vinyl. I don't know that I'm going to put the, the, because normally I would not have done the honey until after I put the conical warp around it. But this is what I wanted to show you guys how to do, because there's so many people that want to do this, but don't know how. And it's really a lot easier than it looks. It's literally easier than it looks. You know, you're going to have your, a little bit of epoxy just for those that have popped on little bit of epoxy that I've been letting to sit for, this has been sitting for almost an hour, guys. And then I just take the spoon, whoo, and I touched it over here, so I'll do it over here. And I just roll back this way, and then I let it do its thing. That's it. It's gonna do and run down as far as it wants to run down. Um, with UV um, epoxy and the UV light, as soon as it gets to the point where you want it, it will stop once you put that UV light on. Um, my hands are getting sticky, so I'm gonna put this aside. Anyone else? I will put a layer of epoxy on top of the decal. Yes, yes I will, and I will let you know how it looks. Now, probably I won't put a whole heck of a lot. More than likely, what I'll do is I'll seal it first with the polycrylic. Um, that's the Fast Set or the polycrylic that I showed you guys last week. It will go on. Um, it'll look cloudy. Don't panic. As soon as it is um, dry, it'll clear up. 
Hello, Miss Kim. Isn't that glitter beautiful? The glitter is called um, Lavender, and it's a color that I'm really trying to get her to get. Look how pretty that color is. And guys, inside of the cup is one thing, but man, you get it underneath the light, and it is sparkly. Um, we are going to be starting. Hey, Miss Amanda. Oh, you were the one that asked me about the epoxy on the decal. Always. If you don't put the epoxy on the decal, it's going to lift. Always runs from the top. I'm serious, Diane. It has to be almost to the point where it's starting to set. The, my cup is actually starting to turn a little warm because of the chemical reaction. I mean, look, it's like gummy. And so it's only going to run down. Look at it. So it's only gonna run down just a little bit. Now, at this point, this is probably too much. This is probably ready to be thrown in the trash. Um, I did it at 6.20, I started my uh, tutorial at seven, and that's when I first did that drip. A couple of drips here. And now I'm telling you, it's probably, look at, look at how far this one did not go down as much, because it's setting very quickly. So the, the, the quicker you use it, the faster it will go down the side. So really you have to decide how far down do you want it to go. So if you want to do the marshmallows on side of the um, our coffee cup to make it look like a hot chocolate, you're going to do it when this is not quite as set because you're gonna to wanna to do it around the whole outside. Same with the, the pops, I mean the um, ice cream can, the ice cream cone. Do you set the cup down and let it, I'm just letting it run. I'm not touching it, I'm just letting it go. Do epoxy over the drip. I will probably put a very thin layer of epoxy on top of the drip, but I'll make sure the rest of the cup has more epoxy because the, the drips are epoxy. So it doesn't really need as much. And I don't want it to, um, do you see the difference after it's set up a little bit more? This was the first one I did right there and how far it's gone down. So um, the more you let it set, the least amount it's going to go down. Yes, Joseph, we can do it for blood as well. If you want to do it for Halloween, y'all can do it for blood and have blood dripping down the side of your cup. What an idea. I expect to see it, people. You've been challenged. I expect to see it. Um, another thing. Oh, I think that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you was how I made the epoxy so that you guys could do the drips. You do the drips however you want. People see it and they think... That's the hardest thing in the world, and you can see that it's not. It's actually easier than putting that vinyl on, because I had to throw the vinyl away, because it didn't work. But conical work does work, if you have a little time. Uh, turn the cup over to, you can, you can, exactly. Thank you, that is a great idea. If you don't want the drips to go down any further, you can flip your cup over, and it'll start going back up the cup and it will stop. No, please ask them because that's a great question. People need to know if they don't want it to run. Now, I do want it to run because this is a honey pot and it is Winnie the Pooh. And I think I want to put one right there. Um, let y'all watch that one more time just in case there's somebody that wants to see how I did it. All right, so here's the spot that I want to do it. This is the epoxy that's set up a lot, guys. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to have my epoxy on my popsicle stick and I'm going to run it backwards and let gravity do its job, just like that. So there's however far it decides to go down is how far it's gonna go down. I have no control over that at this point. Now, there was an idea that was put out there, easy peasy. If you don't want it to go down any further, if you want it to go down like this far, this is probably as far as it's going to go. But if you don't want it to go any further, like these are really going down, I would take this, my cut my, I can't take, I don't want to touch it. I don't want, because I am notorious for messing things up. I did want a lot of dripping because of the, the, the cup. But as you see, this is already going down. But you can flip it. Sorry. Um, so excited. Thank you so much. I am so glad. I really expect to see you guys doing that. I like, I let mine sit for an hour, but it gets thin at the top and then it's thick. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. See, it's almost to the bottom. I don't know if I want it to go that far. I'm going to see if I can get this football out of here. All right, everybody. Sign of the cross. All right. And now her suggestion was flip it over and it will stop running. 
I actually did see them do this on the YouTube channel and it will stop it from running. PVC pipe on a ball. Oh yeah, I normally do have a PVC pipe on my ball, but it's on the other side of the room and I don't like to leave you guys. So that's gonna stop it from going down. And in fact, it probably might help just a little bit for the thicker part that you were talking about that um, actually gets too thin. This will roll back down and probably thicken it up just a little bit. Now you need to keep an eye on it because you don't want it to run down and get really thick on the top. You want to just, you want it down just long enough for it to stop rolling down. I'm okay with it running down the side, but if you don't, but you can see over here, it's starting to head in the other direction. Any other questions? All righty. Yeah, guys, this is super duper easy. Super duper 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 easy. A lot easier than you probably thought it was. Probably couldn't figure out how they were doing it. Well, when I saw the video, I thought, mm-hmm, these people need to see this. Um, and I am very interested in seeing the little things like this that you would like for me to teach you. Um, we can teach you all of the techniques when it comes to making a cup, but you see things like during Halloween, the blood splatter. I am actually going to be putting this on a cup for my daughter. If you guys want to see how I put a tattoo on a cup, let me know. Isn't that cool? My daughter's into lizards, can you tell? So I'm going to be putting that part on a cup. If you want to see how I do it, let me know. I am actually going to start doing more when it comes to YouTube. There'll be some YouTube lives, you'll never know. I'll continue to doing my Tuesday thing. And then starting next month, um, I will be doing a little thing with a friend of mine named Joseph, next door neighbor. And it will be called um, Bling It Fridays. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down at a table and we're gonna bling stuff and show you how to bling stuff and talk to you about the different kinds of bling. And then we're gonna set you at the table so that you can bling stuff along with us and it's gonna be like you're sitting there with us. So you won't be aimed down at the cup. You'll be sitting there holding a conversation with us and blinging right along with us, glass of wine, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna let you guys get back to your day and I am going to see you very soon, I hope. I want to see your drips, please. If you do these, please share them with me because you know how much I love to hear from you guys. You know I like to see what you do. So I wanna see your honey drips, whether they're honey drips or marshmallow drips or blood drips or whatever you decide to drip down the side of your cup. I wanna see those. Um, they make me happy, I don't know why. Alrighty, so you guys have a great night. Wear your mask, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.